well thank you for tuning in so as i've said i will be talking to you a little bit more about health insurance and the reason for taking the time out to discuss this is that after being here for a while you realize that health insurance is a complex system health insurance is totally different from what you probably was expecting in your country in jamaica health insurance is just pretty straightforward you know but here in america you have so many areas in this thing that you have to understand in order for you to actually benefit from your health insurance words like in network out of network deductibles copay coinsurance there's a lot of things that you need to understand regarding health insurance and if you don't meet certain of the certain um criteria if you haven't met your deductibles then you realize that with your insurance you probably end up spending a lot of money and so for persons who have underlying problems you know like diabetes hypertension heart problem any underlying medical problem that you take medications for i would advise you to evaluate look at your budget and then look at what you're you're currently being offered in your country and then decide if probably you know transitioning is going to be best for you because you don't want it to be a case where when you get here in america you are having a hard time getting your medications refilled following up with a specialist you know because it is so difficult for you to actually either get a referral to um, a specialist or see a primary care or seeing somebody that is associated or is willing to take your insurance. So I just want to let persons know that if you have a lot of underlying problems, yes, we have advanced or the America here, they have advanced medicines available, you know, and it would be best for you. But at the same time, will you be having a lot of debt because of, you know, a lot of out-of-pocket expenses associated with the cost to get the treatment or the medicines that you need. So I wanted to just have persons evaluate that and then decide, you know, if it is the best thing for you. Because one person might be, um, it might be a good fit for somebody who doesn't have an underlying problem, but then you having such underlying issues going on, it might not be the best case. So ensure that you're doing this for yourself and not because a friend is doing doing the transition but because you are doing it and you know that it will benefit you in the end person who is healthy it's not really say 100 percent recommended that you have to have insurance because you can always go ahead and pay out of pocket um to your urgent care your clinics your specialists you know um if you need to see them but it's also advice that you have it because it kind of will it will lessen the amount of money that you probably pay out of pocket not by much but it will lessen it to some extent um american health care is uh, just super expensive it is complex i am here for a little while and i still don't understand it but one thing i always tell myself is that i'm just gonna make sure i have insurance if i can get one two insurances going i'm gonna have that because i don't want it to be a case where if i need to go to the doctor and i need to get certain testing done if i need to get an admission done i'm here I'm, i don't want to be hearing that oh we don't accept your insurance we're gonna have to transfer you to this place or um the insurance is not gonna cover it so this is what your out-of-pocket expense is gonna be i just want to have that comfort to know that i have insurance available where i can actually seek out health care at any location so the company might offer you health insurance and the cost might just be a little bit more expensive. The smaller the company, the recruiting company, the cost that is associated with your insurance is just a little bit more. So just FYI, you know, be on the lookout that the prices might just seem a little bit ridiculous, um, especially because you'll be doing it bi-weekly. You'll be paying your insurance bi-weekly. So persons of childbearing age, I would advise you to go ahead and sign up for short-term disability, long-term disability on arrival in the U.S. or once they offer you that insurance package. Reason being that as a childbearing age woman, you are more prone to, you know, being out of a job for a little while. So while you might have FMLA, which is the Family Medical Leave Act, which is um, protecting your job during your time when you're on maternity leave you will also be able to get your short-term disability where you'll be able to have at least 60 percent or 70 percent of your pay while you're on leave so that will kind of just give you a little bit of a um, additional coverage in terms of money for paying your expenses and all
And life insurance is not a must, but I just encourage it because you don't know what can happen at any time. You don't want it to be a case where you have your family um, here and something happens and you don't have a life insurance available to help out with certain costs um, associated with, you know, um, different things like either critical illnesses or death. I do hope that this short video um, will be of importance or some form of education to you. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and I'll discuss a little bit more with you.